Hello everybody and uh, welcome to another episode. Today I will bring you to a fish farm. And which farm? It will be Nippon Koi Farm. But uh, they are very well known for koi, but due to the 2030 uh, self-sustainable program which government is, is uh, pushing, so they have also converted their koi farm, part of their koi farm to edible fish and not only edible fish, they also want to try on vegetable as well. So they merge both together and becomes uh, an aquaponic farm. So aquaponic basically is fish and vegetable, uh, so-called superimposed into a farm and uh, that's what you call aquaponic. Come let me show you inside. The first thing I want to show you in Nippon Koi is their very beautiful koi fishes. And before we go in, we first we have to step on this mat here. It's part of their biosecurity. And this is to desanitize your, your footwear so that you don't bring any virus into or bacteria into the, the farm. This is uh, so-called the viewing uh, gallery for, for visitors and also for buyers because why uh, they put their fish here for sale and of course uh, some of the net is already empty the reason why is because it's sold out so there will be more fishes here and uh, the koi is basically uh, great depending on their colors and their breed so that's why you have a range of different prices and those very beautiful uh, koi fish uh, their price also very beautiful lah, huh? so later on I'll show you how beautiful the price is lah, huh? So for example, this is a $50 uh, fish. That means one fish is $50. Then here, slightly more expensive, this will be the $70, okay? Uh, not a lot of fish here. And uh, over here, wow. The fish is much bigger now and the, the figure also get bigger. Now this is $100 and over here, we have the 120. So that is not the most expensive. You wait till you see inside. Lah, huh? Here, basically, this is the so-called control area. It's a, like a hotel. See? It's a koi hotel for public to actually bring their fish to uh, check in. Why? Because uh, if you are uh, going abroad and nobody looking after the fish, you can actually check the fish in here, they look after for you. Or your fish needs a staycation, you find the fish at home a little bit boring, a little bit, bit dull, uh, you can actually bring them here for a staycation, then after they are, their stay, they go back, your fish will be very alive. But of course, Singapore, nothing is free, lah, huh? so therefore, uh, there is a price to it. Lah, huh? Okay, beautiful, beautiful fish like this. Uh, this, I'm sorry, uh, will not be at the range of hundreds. Uh, this will be the range of thousands. Uh. So one fish can fetch you something about a few thousand. So as you can see, it's worth it. Uh, huh? Okay, now I'll bring you into the more VIP uh, area where when you go in, you see the fish is gorgeous. Uh, huh? The fish is really gorgeous. I stand beside this fish to show you how big the fish is, uh, huh? it's not camera trick, huh? it's huge. Uh, huh? So this koi, these are not arapama, these are koi fish, uh, huh? so it's huge. And that's why uh, this place here, is uh, the fish here is not for sale because it belongs to somebody, all right?
This this is Asen. Asen is the owner of this farm, and he is a very nice guy. And now he is showing us what you have, what he, he has inside there. As you can see, all the fish splashing away. This is the jade perch, and jade perch, Asen is one of the leading farmer that is farming the jade perch. As, as you can hear uh, Asing say, Jack, Jake Perch uh, has this unique black spot here and he says that it's a bit, a bit longish. Uh. No, you eat fatter. Oh, fatter, okay. Uh, Silver Perch is a bit okay. longer. Yeah, so, so basically, uh, the, why he says that is because he has another fish which is the uh, Silver Perch and uh, Silver Perch, I confirm with him already, he's the first one to actually farm Silver Perch in Singapore. So silver perch, you don't have the black dot, uh, huh? Okay. I think, can you please tell me uh, how good this perch fish is? And tell me more about the perch fish. Your perch, uh, perch thing, the meat, uh, the meat, uh, like the codfish, very soft. Second thing, the omega-3 is the salmon of the three times. The sea bar, normal the sea bar, six times higher. Omega-3. Uh, bar uh, mandi. Uh, 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 okay. uh, sea bar. Mm. So uh, sea best. this one is a very high uh, nutrition. So this one, you steam, also very nice. This fish sometimes, uh, they like to eat the vegetable also. Uh -huh. So sometimes as well vegetable, probably as well vegetable, we give them to eat the vegetable. Uh -huh. So this is... So recycle yeah. lah. Uh, so it's a recycle. Mm. Yeah. And then this one won't eat each other, don't attack each other. Uh -huh. it's, it's easy to take care of. All right. Yeah, Thanks. this one. And then I think it's a, it's a future of the food. This fish uh, is a future of the... Consider it's a fresh water fish. And this fish also considered is a sea water fish. They can be keep in the sea, they can be keep in the fish. But only it's a, from the result, they say from the sea they're going slow. From the fresh water, they are going fast. Ah. Only this, this one is. So I see that most of your fish here can be both, both, both water. Both, yeah, yeah both patin, water. tilapia yeah. also can do can in. Convert yeah, sun, okay, very good. Yeah. Wow. This is. Finally, I see the real Empura. Uh, and then you see the Chinese name here, uh, Wang Pu Liao. Yeah. The reason why is because if you go to the restaurant to eat this fish, uh, you cannot forget this fish. Uh, okay? <laughs> yeah, I say back to you. Can you please tell me more about this fish? Yeah, because this fish for my farm, because we do it aquaponics, because this fish very light to eat the vegetable. Of course, they are in Malaysia, they eat the 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 the, the Palace. Feng Shui Guo, Feng Shui Guo. Oh, it's one the fruit. Food. Oh, one okay, of fruit. Uh. Uh, so, why one food they are, for me, for my experience, uh, maybe 10 years before, I buy the parent to breed. So, I buy the parent from Malaysia. Oh. Then, suddenly, my my worker do not properly, the water drop, then they die. They oh. die, I said, Oh. Oh. So I say why one put out. So I cook, I, I go and cook this fish off. Because just fresh, I cook. I, I say, why this fish? Something long, something special. Because the taste are like peach, peach, oh. Oh. peach. Oh. The peach smell. Okay. I say why this this no fish smell is the peach smell. That's why I say remember is one put out. So one put out is the taste. Ah. If you depend you feed what? If you garlic, garlic the taste. If we uwa ko uwa ko the taste, if you pandan pandan the taste, if you the feng shui ko feng shui because they they are different, they smell because what type of feeding. Ah. ah, then price of course is a one pudiao lah. So say. that means it's still yeah. worth it to eat this fish uh, even so though it's very can, high price uh, uh, No, you can, uh, not, now it's not so high but it's quite, for still, me. Still quite high lah. Yeah, for still me they like to oh. eat my vegetable, extra vegetable or, ah. yeah, it's very important for me, it's a recycle. So okay. important for me. Something new which I never see yeah, so far. <laughs> what, what do you call this plant? This one somebody says Hong Kong watercress, some say Thailand watercress. But it's so, normally it's in the market it's green colour, right? Yeah, green colour. We are special make for the beauty. Ah. Still can eat it still for the beauty. Okay. So we need to we need to <laughs> we need to control the, okay. the, the colour. So colour is very nice. It can be whole thing red colour. This colour can be whole thing red colour. Wow. I, I did it before. Wow. Uh, some for decoration, some for eating also can. Okay. And and, and <laughs> um, this place is really something new which I I know you for so long, come to Nippon Koi for so many times. This is the first time <laughs> up here. Yeah. And yeah. you know where we are? We are actually at, at the, the roof? Huh? At the roof of, of the 
Yeah. Yeah, of the Good building. Call. Yeah, you see that and, outside. The and that, that's yeah. the main gate over there. Yeah, wow. Yeah, so you said. So, um, people who have balcony. Ah. It's a great idea. Yeah. It's a good idea for balconies, those people who yeah. stay in condo. This yeah. is good. Or, or, or if you have a landed property, you That's have okay. a bigger balcony, yeah. you can even have the system here and, and start your own farm at your balcony. This is edible hibiscus. Edible hibiscus. Yeah, this one you can eat bigger. Can I try one also? Can, can, can. Okay, I try yeah, This one is a, it's a strong vitamin C. Mm. It's the, what they say, the Teochew, uh, cooking the sour fish. Uh. Swan Yi, uh, you this 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 vegetable. It really? Yeah, it's, it's a sour, it's a song with the C. Here we have the couple, the lovely couple here, Asen and Stella here. Uh, they will tell you more about their plants. Okay, this is the edible hibiscus. Can you can see the, the big big uh, big flower over here? Only morning they will bloom up. Ah, uh, you see? Different color. No, this one is baby, it does grow. This is baby. Yeah, and this, this is already adult. And yeah. You can see that the flower is blooming and also you can see that it's coming out soon. You see the root, the root is coming out. You see the root is different. When they this bloom? flower normally it will last about... Uh, one day? One day, half day. One and a half day. One and a half day, okay. And then, then uh, only, only morning they, they appear like that. They ah, like okay. Yeah. okay. So this is spinach, yeah? The spinach that's responsible for this wonderful ice spinach ice cream. Okay. Ice cream. And anyway, these ice creams are made in Nippon Koi itself. Alright, so you cannot find anywhere else. So if you really want to try, please come to Nippon yeah, Koi. Go and look for her. Okay? Yes. <laughs> so this is different kind of plant, like this is the peppermint. Okay, peppermint. Hong Kong watercress. See, you can see that this is a spinach that I make the ice cream. You know, ah. from the from a, from a spinach, the vegetable ice cream that is first in the world and first in Singapore also. Yes, so this it's is very, very nice. And low low fat also. Yes. Low sugar also. You can you can taste that it's very fresh and very uh, very healthy. Mm. You can taste the healthiness. Ah. All right, Nippon Koi, as I say, is a koi farm and they are very, very experienced and look behind all these trophies, uh, all these years, they are, they are so-called the evidence of their experience and their excellence in this field. 